not touching anything, Mommy. You must stay out of here. I will not tell you again. Go inside, Mary. Lucy's prepared your dinner. Alicia, the experiment, it went quite as expected. Eunice, this is splendid work. Indeed it is. Will you show it to Joseph Henry? Professor Henry. Well, he was always quite the fan of yours. We could invite him to dinner. Mr. Henry is a busy man. But he's interested in new science, is he not? I will ask. So the different jars represent the different gases in the atmosphere around us. This, this is carbon dioxide. What are the rocks? The rocks are oxygen, also in the atmosphere. What did you find? Well, I put the cylinders out in the sun and I checked the temperature before and after. Why? It proves that the sun rays heat up the different gases differently. Carbon traps the most heat. Is that good or bad? Well, if the amount of carbon dioxide in the atmosphere increases, it could give to the Earth a higher temperature. You should have seen the old boy. Trousers round his ankles, and not a clue in the world. <laughs> <laughs> Sir Henry, I was reading about your, your convention. Ah, I must confess that I'm here with a motive. If you have been working on your mathematics again, there's always a place for you. Well, I'm afraid my full attention has been focused on my legal work. I have been doing some research, sir, in the realm of meteorology. Meteorology, fascinating, is it not? <laughs> Could I have some more wine, please? Most fascinating. You really I... must keep up with your mathematics, a man of your intelligence. You can't hide in a patent's office dealing with other people's ideas when you have so many ideas of your own. Don't be shy. I have my paper here. It's quite an easy read. Oh, lovely. Oh, come on, old boy. You must have been working on something. I'm always interested in hearing about new discoveries. With all due respect, Sir Henry, I am trying to tell you about a new discovery this minute. Eunice. Well, I, I must be going. Thank you for a lovely evening. Well, I do hope we've not made you feel uncomfortable, Sir Henry. Not at all, not at all. Sir! Why do it? Why allow me to fill my head with ideas? 
Why talk to me like a scientist? Like an equal? You are my equal. Joseph Henry is a difficult man who believes in tradition. He is just a man. You're a coward. Professor? Eunice, I was just thinking about you. What can I do for you? Have you had the chance to read my paper? You must learn the virtue of patience, my dear. It is only two pages, oh, sir. Only two pages? I see no reason to complicate matters. May I remind you I'm a very busy man. You, sir, are what my husband calls a difficult man. You are adamant and old-fashioned. You are entirely without vision. Now look here, young lady. Science is of no country and of no sex. It saddens me that you refuse to let the work speak for itself. I would have thought more of a man of your competence. She's going to make quite the scientist one day. Professor Henry. Uh, forgive me for the intrusion. Your man said I could find you out here. Uh, I, I thought we arranged for tomorrow. Yeah, quite right, Alicia. I'm here to see your wife. My investigations have had for their object to determine the different circumstances affecting the thermal action of the rays About of the sun. In diameter. An atmosphere of carbonic acid gas would give to our Earth a high temperature. And the air was exhausted from one and condensed in the If, as some suppose, at one period of its history, the air had mixed with a larger proportion of it, a higher temperature would have resulted. And now, I shall read a paper by Eunice, Eunice Newton Foote. A brilliant woman and a brilliant scientist. For science is of no country and of no sex. The sphere of the woman embraces not only the beautiful, but also the true. The experiments were made with an You've arrow made it, Eunice. and two cylindrical receivers of the same size. I'm not even About close. In diameter and 30 in length. In each were placed two thermometers, and the air was exhausted from one and condensed in the other. After both had acquired the same temperature, they were placed in the sun side by side. 